Good morning everyone. My name is Ramakrishna. In the today's class, I am going to discuss about Kirchhoff's laws and the objective questions on this. Okay. First of all, I will discuss some basics regarding that and after that I will discuss questions based on this. Okay. Kirchhoff's laws. Kirchhoff's laws proposed by a scientist called Gustav Kirchhoff. He has proposed these two laws. See here, Kirchhoff law is also called as junction law or current law. Famously called as junction law. Very, very important. Kirchhoff first law is also called as junction law or KCL also. Okay, junction law or first law. In mostly in exam, they will give you junction law or KCL. Okay, junction law or KCL. They will give you in exams. Okay, junction law or KCL. And what it is about? The first law is all about current. It talks about current. At the junction, if you see a circuit, see here, four resistors connected here. The current flowing into a junction is equals to the sum of currents flowing out of the junction. Again, I am repeating the sum of currents flowing into the junction is equals to sum of current flowing out of the junction. That is what we can say in simple words. The sum of currents entering the junction is equals to, for example, if two currents are entering, that is equals to what are going out that is equals to that okay so for this what we can write for this what we can write the sum of currents entering means what are the currents entering this current is entering and this current also entering that is i1 plus i2 is equals to what are the leaving here i4 current is leaving i3 current is leaving so i3 plus i4 so again i am repeating kitch of first law or junction law is all about the sum of currents entering the junction is equals to sum of current leaving the junction. Sum of current entering. What are the currents entering? I1 and I2. The sum of current entering. Entering current sum is equals to leaving current sum. What are leaving currents? I4 current is leaving. I3 currents also leaving. Okay. Leaving currents sum. This will be equals. Okay. So, short definition is this one. The algebraic sum of currents at the junction is 0. The algebraic sum of currents at the junction is 0. That means, the sum of currents entering, let it be positive. Sum of currents leaving is, let it be negative. Then, the algebraic sum of currents at the junction becomes 0. Entering currents I1 plus I2, leaving currents, take it as a negative. Minus I3 minus I4 equals 0. Okay. So, here what you have to, one more point also important regarding junction law. This is all about conservation of charge. Junction law relates to law of conservation of charge. Law of conservation of charge. Very, very important this is. Junction law related to law of conservation of charge. Okay. Basic definition is important. And what it is happening? Sum of currents entering the junction equals to sum of current leaving the junction. Okay. And this is related to law of conservation of charge. Law of conservation of charge, Kirchhoff first law or junction law. And Kirchhoff second law is also called as loop law, famously called as loop law or potential law. This is talk about voltage. Okay, Kirchhoff second law talks about voltage or potential, we can say. Loop law. This loop law is also called as mesh. This is also very famous and very important also. Kirchhoff second law is also called as loop law and that loop law is also called as mesh. Okay, loop is nothing but a mesh only. Okay. So, what it talks about? The algebraic sum of potential around any closed loop is 0. In short, we can say the algebraic sum of potential around any closed loop is 0. That means the voltages, the sum of voltages in a circuit is 0. The sum of voltages in a circuit is 0. That means the voltages where it will occur across cells it will occur or across resistors it will occur. So, the sum of voltages equals to 0. That is voltage is nothing but a potential drops. The voltages across resistors and voltages across EMF of a cells is equals to 0. Okay, This one. And regarding loop law, loop law or mesh law is same only. Okay, This is about conservation of energy. Loop law is conservation of energy. Very, very important. Loop law is related to law of conservation of energy. Okay. Again, I am repeating, Kirchhoff second law is also called as loop law. And what is the basic definition? The algebraic sum of changes, 
we can shortly we can say the algebraic sum of potential around any closed loop is zero the algebraic sum of potential around any closed loop is zero in short we can say like that okay the potentials in a closed loop is zero okay and this is related to conservation of energy again i am repeating loop is also called as mesh law okay so based on this we can see some objective questions see here and conceptual understanding questions and very important kitcher flow of meshes kitcher flow of meshes regarding meshes mesh or loop law same one okay loop law loop law or kitcher of second law or kitcher of voltage law all are similar okay loop law all about voltages so this is about second law loop law is nothing but second law only now or kvl also we can say kitcher of voltage law okay mainly mesh is nothing but a loop law and this loop law is talks about law of conservation of energy not charge in case of current it is conservation of charge okay in case of voltage it is conservation of energy kitcher of meshes is accordance with law of conservation of energy okay and kitcher law of junction junction law junction law or current law same okay junction law or current law or first law same only junction law or current law or first law or same only this is all about conservation of charge first law or current law or junction law is all about conservation of charge don't confuse with this okay very very important assertion at any junction of network the algebraic sum of currents the algebraic sum of various currents is zero this point is current okay this point is correct and what is the reason given at steady state there is no accumulation of at steady state there is no accumulation of accumulation of charge at the junction at steady state there is no accumulation of charges charge at the junction so both the points are correct both the points are correct so explanation also correct what we can say answer is 1 assertion and reason also correct and it is a correct explanation for you so these are the three important uh, multiple choice questions on that concept and if you and some more important questions are there see here those questions also we can discuss see here <clears throat> very famous question and very very important question the potential difference between a and b between a and b potential difference is asking so how do you calculate for example see some example first for example this is the resistance for example this is the current is flowing here for example va voltage is there here for example vb voltage is there okay at point a va voltage at point b vb voltage i am taking okay this va voltage after drop after dropping some voltage here the remaining voltage will be available at vb okay that means what we can write va minus ir equals to vb okay so if we subtract this drop from va voltage we will get the vb so how i am writing here see current direction is this side that means this is positive and this is negative from which side current is entering that one you have to take positive other side you have to take negative so va minus ir other side of the element minus is the minus ir equals to vb okay follow this basic and we can solve this question see here <coughs> va right side of the element which is the minus is a minus this drop ir equals to vb remaining voltage will be vb okay now see the solution so based on this we can simplify this question see here <clears throat> this is the a and this is the b that means here voltage is va and the voltage is vb current direction is from left to right from which side it is entering from entering from this side so this is positive other side is negative and the current is entering from left to right see here the same current will flow to all the elements all the elements it will flow so this is positive and this is negative because current is entering 
the same current will flow or from left to right it is entering so left positive right negative left to right the current is entering so left positive right negative this is left positive and right negative okay and for resistors only the signs will change according to the current direction for battery or cell for battery what we, for cell what happens same only which is length more that is positive which is length less that is negative length more positive length less negative okay so now we can do that va voltage if you subtract this drop you will get the vb voltage that is va minus right side of the element which is there minus is there so minus drop how much drop current into resistance b equals to ir now current into resistance how much 2 into 1 next how much voltage right side of the element which is the plus is there so plus 9 next right side of the element which is the minus is there put the minus and the voltage across that how much 2 amps current is flowing through this okay 2 into 2 2 into 2 next which element is there cell is there okay right side of the element which is there right side of the this one only cell only you have to see which is there minus is there so minus how much 3 volts next element resistor is there right side of the element which is the minus is there so minus how much current is flowing 2 amps current into resistance that is 2 into 3 equals to 0 so what you will get va minus 2 plus 9 that is how much minus 2 plus 9 7 7 minus 4 3 3 minus 3 0 minus 6 that this is 2 into 3 okay this is 2 into 3 how much 6 minus 6 and that's how you will get va minus that is what you will get which is equals to vb now here so va minus 6 equals to 0 you got that means va minus vb equals to 6 <coughs> again i am repeating see here from va voltage this much drop happened in between this branch what happened this much drop occurred subtract this drop then you will get the vb voltage so va minus current into resistance 2 into 1 and next element plus 9 and minus 2 into the current plus that is minus 3 volts minus 3 into the 2 which is equals to vb so va minus vb equal to 6 volts equal to okay this is the answer okay and see the next question this is a current law by seeing the diagram you can say as per kitsch of current law what we can say or junction law also we can say the sum of currents equals to sum of current that is sum of currents entering equals to sum of current leaving what are the currents entering here 7 amp entering so 3 amp leaving how much has to come here 7 amps entering 3 amps leaving so how much will be remain 4 amps 4 amps so 4 amps entering 1 amp entering how much will be here 5 amps that means i1 equal to 5 amp ok i1 equal to 5 we got next in this case what at this junction you observe how many currents entering 5 current entering and 2 also entering which is equals to leaving currents 2 currents enter leaving i2 current also leaving 2 plus i2 how much you will get i2 equals to 5 2 to cancel no send this to this what happens 2 minus 2 0 so i2 equals to 5 amps it equals to 5 amps you got now apply the current law here what happened the sum of currents equals to sum of current leavings so 5 amps is entering which is equals to sum of current leavings i3 is leaving and i4 also that is 4 amps also leaving that is how much 5 minus 4 1 so i3 equals to how much 1 amp so what is the answer 5 5 and 1 amp that is option 3 is the correct answer for this okay so very important model this is okay and see the next question <clears throat> very important model see here in the given circuit given i is so this kind of questions how to solve see here and which element is more convenient to calculate the value how to see at the junction let it be some x assume let it be some x what happens 1 amp current given resistance given voltage also given so this branch is convenient to find the voltage at this junction okay you may say that sir i will choose this junction no it's not possible if you choose this junction there is a two unknowns x value unknown current also unknown 
in this junction current you don't know so at the junction is convenient this branch you take okay current you know that voltage you know that resistance also you know that how much so how to calculate the voltage see here current direction is from right to left is there so that what you can current current formula current formula what you can write for this 35 minus x by 10 equals to 1 amp see here for example see here for example this is VA voltage and this is VB voltage and this is a resistance for example current direction is from left to right then what you have to do current how much current is flowing means what you will do I equals to based on current direction from left to right is then also voltage difference by resistance we have to write see here voltage difference that VA minus VB by resistance is nothing but the current flow from left to right again repeating from left to right how much current is flowing how to calculate from this point it started now so VA minus VB by R will get the current in this in this place you see current direction from right to left from where it started 35 volts it starts so 35 minus x volts by resistance 35 minus x by 10 equals to 1 amp understood based on this basic formula you can say that 35 minus x by 10 equals to 1 amp okay so from this you can calculate that is 35 minus x equals to 10 so x equals to 35 minus 10 how much 25 so 25 volts you got at this node you got 25 volts so based on this you can calculate the current so i equals to what you can do i equals to current direction you see from left to right it is there okay the 40 volts and x that is 40 minus 40 minus x by 5 that is 40 minus 25 by 5 how much that is 15 by 5 how much 3 amps so 3 amps is the answer understood again I am repeating see here from basic understanding see one resistor is there here VA voltage is there here VB voltage is there so for knowing the current in this resistor what you will do the voltage current started here no current started here so VA minus VB by resistance you will get current flow from A that is potential difference by resistance okay in this case you see you have chosen this branch for calculating node voltage first 35 minus x by 10 equals to 1 35 minus x by 10 equals to 1 so you got simplified you got x equal to 25 you got the node voltage node voltage 25 volts when you know the node voltage it is easy to calculate the current that is current equals to 40 minus x by 40 minus x by resistance 5 so 40 minus 25 by 5 how much 15 by 5 that is 3 amps hope you understood okay so if you have any doubts you can comment in comment section okay so thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this video with your friends and please subscribe this channel thank you